So I think I might have just tasted the perfect spring bourbon and it's right here in this bottle. Today I'm going to share my thoughts on the newest release from Barrel Craft Spirits and that is the Barrel Bourbon Cask Finish Series Mizanara, 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 I might be saying it wrong, but Mizanara seems right. I'm Dara, that's Mizanara, it could be Mizanara, but I'm not Dara, so potato, potato, or if that even made sense. Anyhow, okay, so let me talk about what's in this bottle. This is a blend, it's six years old, 116.42 proof. The blend is comprised of six, seven, and nine year old Indiana, eight year old Kentucky, and eight and 14 year old Tennessee. It's a mash bill of 76% corn, 20% rye, and 4% malted barley. Barrel did send me this bottle, so shout out to you, Barrel, for sending me this bottle. I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. As you guys know, I always share my honest opinion on a bottle, whether someone sent it to me or not. I'm gonna tell the truth, give you my thoughts. I'm gonna tell you what it smells like, tastes like, what the finish is like, give you my score on it, and then I'm gonna reveal if I would spend the $85 on this bottle and if you guys should be out there looking for it for yourself. All right, so let's dive in. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching, for liking, and if you have not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Okay, now let's dive into this review. Cheers. Whoa. Cheers to you guys. Thank you so much on the nose on this one. This has the most unique nose that I've smelled in a while. It's very, very, very unique. It reminds me of the suave strawberry shampoo I used to use as a child. Like that smell will never leave my nose. I will never forget that smell. I loved that smell. Every time that I can find that smell again, it's very nostalgic for me. So I get those notes out of it. It's kind of like if you went and picked fresh strawberries and you put them in a basket and you carried it around and you got a whiff out of that basket, kind of like this. That's what I get out of it. It smells very strawberry forward. It's very, very fruity. I haven't smelled a strawberry nosed bourbon in so long, but I also get notes of like butter, vanilla. I even get notes of like caramelized sugars. It's not your typical bourbon on the nose. You don't smell that vanilla, caramel, light oakiness. You get all of these really nice fruity notes. Super spring forward notes, honey, caramelized sugars, Things that remind me of drinking like an herbal tea, like a lemon strawberry herbal tea. It's really, really nice on the nose. All right, let's taste this. Oh, so right up front, wow, I nearly just spit. Right, not in a bad way. I just can't talk sometimes. Right on the front of the palate, I get these notes of like a strawberry, cream cheese pastry. Like, you know, those toaster strudels. It reminds me of one that you actually toasted. You made it nice and toasty. And then you put like the icing on the top of it. It tastes more like that got kind of caramelized on the top of it. And then you just drizzled honey over it. It's really, really nice on the front of the palate with that sweetness. And then it goes into these notes that remind me of drinking a mule. If you've ever had a mule, it is a vodka. Well, generally, generally speaking, a mule is vodka, lime juice, and ginger beer. I get those notes in this with that added strawberry. So it's almost like you're drinking a strawberry mule, even adding mint, like a little bit of mint in there, like a strawberry mule mojito kind of thing going on. But with some of that richness from the bourbon and the whiskey blended in here, it's really, really fantastic. And it's super oily. That spearminty strawberry note really follows through in the back of the palate. Like you can definitely still taste it. Like I'm sitting here and I'm just like, oh my gosh, it kind of reminds me of like a strawberry mojito with that rich bourbon flavor in it. It's really, really nice. I really, really enjoy this. It's super unique. It, it's not like anything I've tasted in so long. It's definitely really spring forward, but it has enough richness and complexity to continue through to the back of the palette, which I love. All right, now let's talk about the score on this one. I'm gonna give this one 3.25 corks out of five. I think it's really, really good. I really wanna drink this with a cigar, especially like a Connecticut, like a creamier cigar, because I think that strawberries and cream kind of vibe would happen with this. 
I want to try it. I'm going to try it and let you guys know. But I think that would go fantastic. Like a really nice, mild, creamy Connecticut cigar would go great with this. So if you have one of those laying around, definitely try it with this and let me know what you think of it. But I definitely would recommend this, especially if you like a fruitier, like more spring-like palette. This is going to be one you're going to want. And it doesn't drink hot at all, by the way. 116 proof. You can't even tell. It drinks a little bit lower than that, in my opinion. It drinks more like 105 proof. It's really nice. It's enjoyable. I like it. Now let's talk about the price. The price on this is $85. And I think that is an absolutely perfect price on this bottle. I would go buy this at $85. So if you see it, buy it. It reminds me of how much I really enjoyed the Barrel Vantage. I'm getting those kind of vibes out of it. I really, really enjoy that Barrel Vantage and that's how I feel about this one. Can't wait to see what else comes out of Barrel. They're always doing something unique and good and their blending is fantastic. And I say that because, oh my gosh, if you haven't tried that Barrel Amburana, 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 I love that. That is one of the best Amburanas on the market right now. It in my opinion, that's my opinion. This is our channel. But my opinion is that that one is perfectly balanced and not over finished. The whiskey still shines through. And that's what I love about what they're doing with their blending is they're still letting the whiskey shine through while you get that nice finish. So those are my thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you're out looking for this bottle, if you find it and if you try it and if you love it as much as I do. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. I'm Dara. I'm your average drinker and I'll see you next time right back here.